What is going on here with Nate to wait and this is Cross Beast Production. Thanks for tuning in. So I want to go over this really, really exciting news. Um, it's exciting for me at least. I want to share it with you guys and I'm hoping that some of the guys that um, or gals on my channel who are fans of Antelope Audio see this as well because this is something really cool that I just found out today. Um, I got an email which talked about this plugin and another one which has got to do with the bass um, amp and I was super, super excited to announce it to you guys because I was just happy to see it and I was like, wow, I can't believe it. I'm like, yes, yes, finally we've got like a tape emulation that can kind of compete with UAD. Um, I want to hear what this sounds like because I don't, I don't actually have access to it yet. I'm hoping that I'll get to hear it shortly, but um, it's currently available on the Discrete 8. So if anybody out there has a Discrete 8 and has this plugin already working on it, let me know what it sounds like. I'd be really keen to hear uh, your comments below in the comment section down there. Um, but anyway, right now it should be available soon. That's what it says here at least uh, for the Zen Tour and all these other devices here. And it's currently got four different types of reel on it. So you've got, I'll just go down here so I can show you what it is. Um, so you've got these different types of reels, so you can change this to, it goes to different different reels there. Um, so you've got low saturation level, high uh, THD, which is total harmonic distortion, if you don't know what that stands for, and good frequency response. Um, same thing here, high THD and high frequency response. And third one there is high, uh, good dynamics, enhanced low and mids. And then we've got for the final one, good dynamics and lower total harmonic distortion level. So that's kind of cool because I guess you can change or choose what you want as far as distortion and that kind of thing. Um, the next thing that I can see on the interface here itself is 15 IPS and 30 IPS, which is kind of really good because you can not have a nice smooth 15 IPS tape or you can have the more higher frequencies in the 30 IPS. So that sounds even more, I guess, depending on the kind of stuff you're working on, it makes it sound different. Um, from what I'm seeing here, that would probably be something to do with the way that the low frequency curve is. Um, so IEC and then NAB, as far as I know anyway. Um, and there's four different types. You can just press each button to change it. And then you've got over normal and under. I would assume that's something to do with the, the input or the output gain. I'm not exactly sure, but that's what I'm guessing. And then I'm hoping that these two input and outputs can level match or you can choose the levels on them. I don't know how that's going to work, but hopefully you can do that somehow. Um, that would be a really good feature if you could do level matching. And then you got Wow and Flutter, which obviously, you know, you probably already know what that is. If you don't, um, it's something to do with like the way that the warping and or the sound and speed and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, that is really cool. Uh, I am super excited to see what this sounds like. So... Let me know down in the comments if you guys have access to this or anyone has played with it yet. I'd really like to know what it sounds like. And if you have, give me an idea. Because um, this is really good. This is really good um, feat for um, Antelope Audio. And it's a really good start of the progression of 2018 for what they're going to bring out too. So, wow. And uh, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.